would have their own local authorities functioning, finally even in the provincial councils functioning. This is how a democratic process can uh, take its uh, root as well as give, deliver what the people want. North has had no democratic institutions for a long time because of the terrorist activities. Elections were not uh, welcome and some of our leaders of the North had to sacrifice their lives. Uh, leaders of the Tamil community. Uh, today that situation has changed and we have, we are dedicated to restore the democratic process so that democratic leaders, intelligentsia, men and women of those areas would get elected, participate in the process of government, government as well as process of development. As you say, which is the most important because they have suffered uh, which we have recognized uh, from their habitat to development, all that should be uh, delivered. This is the goal of our whole country and the government. And you feel that it, this government can achieve that, can achieve the kind of uh, inclusion of minority communities in a way that it has not happened in the past? Very much. The minority communities have had a, a very positive dialogue with the government. Go there have been differences on political grounds, but the minorities are represented in the government and more will be represented in the next government. Most of the projects, the key projects in the north, uh, in terms of infrastructure, has taken off. Some of the roads, the bridges, all have been restored for what? To serve the people so that they would have mobility and movement for trade, and economic activity and for their betterment. Education, health has been restored virtually and it would be improved. We will be going on that track for development. My ministry has already planned <coughs> the big city of Mankulam. It will be one of the key cities of the north. We have planned for the development of Jaffna, Mana, Trinkamali and also Kilinochi. I mean, uh, if I can interrupt there, I mean, personally, I, if these are wonderful measures that are being taken and definitely that is what has to be done. But as you say it now, it's, it's a question of trying to make the fee people of those areas feel that they are really the ones who are going to benefit by this development. Okay. And it's not something that the center of the country is imposing on them. So uh, I guess it's important that people are included in all these development projects and the planning of them as well, and they are. They are very much, and I, I agree with you, there has to be community participation, which is an important aspect of development today, all over the world. Community has to play a role, which we are recognized. The President's program of reawakening the villages includes community participation, and the people of the North and the people of the East will play a role in their own habitat as well as communities in terms of decision-making and development. Well, we will look forward to it, hopefully, because this is really the, this is really what is going to assure peace for all of us in the country in the Very future. Much. If I can just come back to the <coughs> portfolios that you represent at the moment in cabinet, you are the minister for urban development. Um, um, what do you think about the? Let us take uh, let us take the city of Colombo. We know there were a lot of urban development projects that were started even by the last government. Yes. How do these things carry forward? Do they have they carried been going forward in a way that you think we can think of as progressive? Uh, very much we have had, we have gone through a difficult time because of the conflict. Um, our priorities had to be uh, changed in order to win the war. Uh, we have planned the city development, cities of Colombo. We have started shifting the administrative uh, departments to Jayavadanapura. Uh, the new complex is already t has taken off and all the government ministries and departments would be shifted so that Colombo City would be further developed with a lot of space for development. Colombo has about 1,000 acres that could be used for development because of the sh uh, poor uh, shelter that has come up. Uh, yeah, okay. You okay. mean the, the, the kind of temporary shelters? Temporary shelters that are coming housing. up. Yeah. So we have planned a housing development plan 
which will be implemented. Some of it we have started. Alternative arrangements. Alternative arrangements so that they would get a better house to live in as well a lot of land would be released for development which would be coming in I guess we would uh, expect investment to flow in and Colombo City to play an important role than what they are today. The local authorities have to uh, toe the line I would say of urban planning which has been lacking. Uh, they should seriously work for a better uh, urban planned cities in our country. What's preventing them from doing it? Uh, they have local authorities are the people who have been promoting this type of violations, allowing people to so violate the they laws. They need to they start getting tougher and to they need their a better admin, better management. Today, they must we must all understand management is the key issue. Uh, just running administration to say yes is not the issue. Yeah, in order to deliver what the people want, there has to be better managers, better management. I think our youth are quite capable of yeah. emerging to manage such situations in a de most developed country that we are aiming to be. But don't you think it's the same polit politicization that even affects local government uh, authorities from functioning in their most effective and most efficient manner? Or, or are there other reasons? The laws that we have drafted in order to uh, get through the legislature okay. would change the entire local yes. government election process. There would be more participation at ward level and also better management as we had declared local government will get better management and better financial uh, support in the next development process that have been ex uh, declared by the president it's very much in clearly declared and that's the next round of elections we're probably going to be going into right uh, yes <laughs> soon after the general election yes. local government also would have elections. We hope that the system will be changed. That yes. is our uh, objective. And then we will have local government elections where all would participate as well as uh, play a role for development to deliver what the citizenry of the local authority is wanting. We have had a slow process, as I said, because of the conflict. Investment has to flow in. Private investment must come in. Only state can't play a role. There has to be an environment where there's confidence and trust for private investment. Um, IT must come in to all city administration. This was something that I've been promoting. We have started in two, two cities so that it will enhance and bring more revenue as better management. Yeah. All this has to come in in our new attempt of development. So as important as electing people to the parliament is is it it's going to be to have the right people in leadership positions in local government as well? Very much and I think the professionals also must play a big role. Uh, there has to be a very clear close cooperation and dialogue with the professional world in our country. We are limited but we should make use of all uh, to play a role in all activity. Yeah. Um, I, I've heard one of the allegations from people who try to get into local governments is that the politicization is so high that people who are at the ground often get uh, replaced by people who politicians uh, put above them. And I think this is particularly the case for women politicians. I know that even in the Colombo list for, uh, for your party this year, there isn't a single woman on the list, if I'm not mistaken. In Colombo district? Yes. Yeah, but we have been representing because of the women. I myself from Colombo district fought for the electoral changes for women. Sometimes we don't get people who are elected uh, voicing opinion so effectively than, <laughs> than men, but their women representation has to be assured. This is one aspect that we have uh, drafted in our legislation which would be brought soon after our victory which will give women a much more important role to play in elections as well as in uh, government. Well, hopefully in the next local government election there will be more women. I'm going to move to your other portfolio, and that is the sacred area development. I've, I've seen media reports from the East where certain communities, minority communities, uh, have got into conflict about uh, land and who it belongs to and whether lands that used to belong to one community have now been declared the sacred areas of another. I'm talking about the East in particular in the Ampara district. Tell me, how, how true are these allegations? And 
the whole basis is there has there is an archaeological department in our country there is a history documented history